Hey guys, it's 50 Huzz bringing you a search and destroy game. Yes, a search and destroy game, finally. This isn't hardcore, however, I do have a hardcore dual screen gameplay with Wayne Garcia coming up very soon. Dual screen gameplay is the first one ever, Modern Warfare 3. Takes a lot of time editing and it's not the easiest game to achieve, so just bear with me guys. And it'll be coming up pretty soon, probably in a week or two. Anyway, I'm using a P90 in this game, playing on the map Bakara. I honestly have not played much SD on this game. We we'll take the first round. Um, this was my only ever SD game on this particular map so far. After this game, I probably played like four or five games of SD. I really not touched it a lot. Um, that kind of sounds a bit homo, but hey. Will I be playing SD more in the future? Probably yes, because I will get bored of TDM. TDM does kind of get boring, but anyway, let's talk about the gameplay. This was some horrible shooting. He was kind of head glitching on that pickup truck, finally get the kill. However, his teammate with the FMGs or FMJs, whatever they call, I hate those guns. I don't use them personally. I prefer a Stinger Missile, but we get the round 2 in up. This guy with the gold UMP is doing some work. Change my route up for the third round. Guys, you don't want to become too predictable in Search and Destroy because I can guarantee you the enemy will read you. The enemy will read your moves. And that's just a recipe for disaster. So keep your moves unpredictable. Although I do tend to run the same routes every time, whichever gives me the most success. I tend to stick to those. But just try vary up one out of three rounds. Um, eventually lose that round. This guy just gets quick scoped. Now he was like selling prestige I believe and this was like the first few days after the game came out so we instantly this guy just lived off Modern Warfare 3. Over here I don't know what I'm doing trying to camp on this ledge not a good idea as you're gonna see. Um, I'm sticking out like a sore thumb. Am I gonna do cinematic view? Yes I am. Look at that. Not the best of spots to camp but I'm still learning the spots on this map to be honest. Try shooting down like I'm a sniper, but that's not gonna happen. That building I'm aiming at is a hot spot on this map. There's always people running off there. Um, my PVR kind of messed up here, started fast forwarding, and I died by this sniper. Look at him in the corner. What is he doing, honestly? I hate snipers in this game. One shot kill? Are you joking? Lose that round. It's 2 2. Mr. Sniper got the defuse. Switch to my PP90 with a suppressor. I'm, honestly, this gun. It seems that like it's a bit nerfed now with the suppressor. It's not as good. This game was like one or two weeks ago, um, before the recent patches, and definitely I've noticed a little drop when you're using it with suppressor. It's not as powerful. Um, this guy just sink, sitting on a window ledge, but I'm gonna die. You're gonna think, what? Did you guys see that guy on the left? Because I did not. Let's see that in cinematic view. There's two people over here. One on this window ledge, one on the other ledge. I did not see him whilst I was playing. He got easy kill. He seen the, he seen his teammate die by that skull. Them death skulls. Really take notice of them in core modes. Um, obviously they don't appear in hardcore search, but in core modes you gotta take use of everything available to you, such as the radar in the top left. The radar is your best friend. Make use of it. Again, I switch up my route. This route. Um, Put down a bouncing Betty, which I found a hit and miss. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure whether the Claymore is more efficient and useful in SD because I believe after you die, the Claymores still stay, whereas the bouncing Betty's just vanish. Well, that's what some other commentators said, so I'll take his word for it. So I'll probably start using Claymores now. As you see, I checked out the raid on my best friend. There's an orange dot over here. I thought it was a sniper who got me in a previous round, however, it wasn't. So I threw a concussion, a grenade. I love my concussion grenades. Take him out. Look at that. Reflex kill. That was not skill. That was nothing else apart from just pure reflex speed. So fortunate to get him. Got tomato ketchup on the screen which is slowly vanishing away. Running around like a headless chicken. Am I going to get any more kills? We're just going to have to wait and see. Probably not because a lot of people do camp in s &D, which is really annoying. This was a clever kill. Threw a concussion grenade to slow him down because he was running like Usain Bolt and if I didn't do that I probably wouldn't have caught him. I'm speaking so fast like I'm feeling like Usain Bolt. Eventually I'm going to get killed by a guy with a sniper. Quick scope. So many people are quick scoping. Even I've got a few quick scoping kills in this game and I'm not a sniper by any means. Mr. Gold UMP is going to hold this round. But we're going to clinch victory. So it's going to be 3-3 into the final round. Extra time, penalty shootout. I've always say. In the final round, do not die cheaply. This is the most important 
round, obviously, and you just want to stay alive as long as possible. I kind of go against my own advice here because I rushed straight upon this side. I had a feeling that they were going to try rushing us. Sit down on the floor after killing this first person, drop shot for the win, make yourself a more difficult target to shoot, clinch the other guy over there. There is going to be a third person over there on the left. He puts on a bouncing bet, he gives away his position, pull out my secondary, which I do not use anymore, honestly. My choice here was to flank him, however, my teammate got to him first, fair play to him. I'm playing with Shaf and Harmony in this game. So now, we've more or less clinched victory, there's only one person left on the other team, we've got like four people. Drop shot! Again, reflex. s and play s and to improve your reflex speed, and honestly guys, you'll become a better player. Anyway, that's the end of the game. Pretty decent score, 12 kills, 5 deaths, not bad for a person who hardly ever plays s and in Modern Warfare 3. I'm still a noob at these maps, still gotta learn the spots in s and where everyone comes etc. Hope you guys enjoyed, please leave a comment and a rating, I'll catch you next time, laters.